So we missed the cold start, missed him pulling it off the trailer because he decided to park like a block away and then call us and say it was being unloaded. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through. It's true. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. We are sitting outside morning. on the front porch this morning. It's a little bit early for me if I'm being honest. Um, but we are taking delivery of a brand new supercar today. Yeah, we bought a car. Bought a car. So if you have not seen um, recently, literally about a week ago, we sold the Lamborghini, the yellow Lamborghini, and I was a little upset about it. So, simultaneously, Chris was doing his homework and found a new supercar Yes. Um, that we are even more excited about. So, that is actually coming to our house today. We have not seen this car. We have not seen it in person, I should say. Yeah, so this car we bought without ever seeing it, which we've only done that once before. And that was, uh, if you've been following the channel for a while, we bought the Dodge Viper, which was a really cool thing. We bought the car. Um, we bought that out of Wisconsin and we had the car shipped in, but before we bought it, we had a bunch of videos and photos sent to us, we're constant, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's like you're seeing the car virtually, and um, so we bought it, got shipped out, and when it got here, to me, it was like even better than the photos. It really was. Um, we still love that car, I still miss that car. <laughs> yeah, and then we ended up buying the Ferrari that we drove and picked up, because that was somewhat local, mm -hmm. and then we drove that one home. Right. Then the yellow Lamborghini we bought, and we saw that in person and then closed the deal after we saw it and then had it shipped here. So that was right. still cool having it delivered, but we had already seen it in person. So right. that one was also less scary because you already know what it looks like. You've already seen it in person. So this one, we have not seen in person. But same thing, we got a lot of photos, we asked for videos. Mm -hmm. um, the dealership went over and above with the videos if I asked them for to do like a, a walk around video or something. They would do full blown walk around videos, they would do cold starts, they would rev the engine, they would show the interior, show all the buttons work, stuff like that. So we, we kind of saw a lot of the stuff. So we haven't seen it in person, but I feel somewhat confident that hopefully it looks like it does in the pictures and videos. Um, so the shipper? So it's 8 a.m. Uh, and the car is supposed to be delivered in the afternoon yesterday. Yes. And so it's still not here. So. Um, Tick tock. Yeah, they picked it up, I think, yesterday at... Like six? No, four. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And it's like three hours away, three and a half hours away. So they said they'd be, according to the GPS, they'd be here way too late yesterday. They yeah. Said that they'd have to deliver it this morning. Um, and they said that they could deliver it whatever time was convenient for us. And he said, how about 9 a.m.? And I said, how about 8 a.m.? So I could get my day started. And, and I was like, stuff done. no, no, maybe we could go and with then the he 9 a.m. No problem. 8 a.m. between 8 a.m. and 8.30 a.m. So I was like, I just said, he said, anytime you want, I said 8 a.m. And he said, sure, between 8 and 8.30. So he already had no hope as of yesterday that he'd make it on time at 8. He's late. Yeah. So. Um, kind of an expensive purchase to be late on. But... We're already, well, we're coming up on 8.30. So yeah. if he makes it the next seven minutes, he did hit his window, which was not my window. So we're already late again. So you're a day late, and on the next day, you're already an hour late. So. <sighs> but you know but... what? I didn't pay for the shipping. The dealership paid for it. We worked that into the into the price of the car. So the dealership paid to have it shipped out here. But if I had paid to have it shipped out here, I'd be a lot angry. I was already angry that I was supposed to get a car yesterday and it didn't show up. So let's see. We'll show you what time he actually gets here. I need uh You need some Bally's some in your coffee. In <laughs> or Jameson. Like super uneventful. Yeah. It's like I wanted to be excited about this. We 
missed a cold start, missed him pulling it off the trailer because he decided to park like a block away and then call us and say it was being unloaded. Hello. And something is parked there. I'm yeah. screwed. So uh, basically here are the keys. Okay. Uh, I just need to make some pictures. Okay. And then I will bring the paperwork for signature. So okay. Thank you. Oh, it's already on it? Okay. exhaust and this happened on the Gallardo the, when we bought the Gallardo they said there was no exhaust there was just stock exhaust and we got it home and you really can't see the exhaust um, especially on the Gallardo um, and it has the factory tips on it so I drove it to um, my buddy uh, Eddie's house of autopilot exotics he owns autopilot exotics he makes custom exhaust and everything so he's like hey I'm gonna make a custom exhaust for your car and we said that was awesome so we drove out there and took the bumper off, and lo and behold, it already had a custom exhaust, or it had a, an exhaust on it. So we took it off and still put Eddie's on there. And then we got this car, and I was like looking through the back, through the honeycomb, and normally there's a big heat shield over the exhaust, so that heat shield was gone, so you can see in a little bit better. Um, and you can see that has a, I think it's a custom exhaust. It's just a straight pipe from the header right to the tip. They don't even, it's completely independent exhaust. They don't connect, there's no X pipe. So I don't even know what brand it is. I don't know if it was just custom made, but regardless, that explains why it was like loud. I, I was, was like, it sounds really popping. loud, and the, yeah, the, like the back pops and the, all the um, the gurgles and everything that come from the back exhaust was, was pretty loud. And I was like, wow, those Huracans are pretty loud. Um, turns out. Turns out it has an exhaust <laughs> on it. Funny thing is when I sent a picture of the car to Eddie, um, he saw it before I bought it, and he goes, oh, it has a spoiler. That means it has an exhaust, And because um, we were already talking about doing an exhaust on the car. And I was like, no, I said, it's just, all they said is it has a, an aftermarket spoiler, and that's it. We get it here, and it did have an exhaust. So second time a dealership told us that it had a stock exhaust, and it had an aftermarket exhaust on it. I'm not mad about it. So a nice little, I don't know, $3,000 surprise. Yeah. Um, the rims are pretty cool, too. If you notice, uh, I'll show you in a second. The center caps on the rims are kind of like the Rolls Royce. They always stay facing the right way. So when you're driving, the center caps I was going to show them. It's forward. pretty cool. I love that. So when you're driving, they might actually be spinning. I'm not sure if they always stay dead center the way the Rolls Royce does. Um, so they might spin with the rim, but when you stop, they stop spinning and always end up at 12 o'clock. Um, 
what else? It's already factory or it's already tinted from the previous owner. Which I love. I think the front windshield needs to get a layer of tint on it. It may. I would do Oh, the first thing I noticed too, the Alcantara inside. Yeah. That was really pretty. All the honeycombs. So the tint will definitely help protect all the leather and everything. Um, so maybe a light coat of tint on the front. And then uh, maybe clear bra. At least clear bra, the front bumper, hood, maybe fenders and mirrors. God, I love it. We'll see. Maybe we'll clear bra the whole thing and then ceramic coat the clear bra. Oh, oh, this is already PPF. Oh, you can see a little bit. Yeah, so this already is clear broad. Kind of figure it out as we go. All right, guys, let us know what you think about the new supercar, the Lamborghini Huracan. Yeah, it is. Uh, and it's, in case you ask, too, it's the 582. So it's uh, you can get it in two models. The 610-4, 610 is the horsepower, four four-wheel drive. Or the 580, so they take some of the horsepower away and they make it rear wheel drive. So we went with the 582. So it's a little bit more fun to drive. Um, the Gallardo was four wheel drive, and we were going to convert that to two wheel drive. And right. We bought everything we needed for it, and uh, Eddie was going to do the conversion for us, and uh, he agreed to it. I don't. He might have been a little reluctant, but I said, "Hey, you're going to install this." And he was like, "Okay." <laughs> uh, but we ended up selling the car, so we didn't end up making that rear wheel drive. But this is rear wheel drive, so be, now you can actually do like a little bit of burnouts, drift the back end a little bit mm -hmm. on it, um, stuff like that. So. Maybe we'll do a video talking about why we we actually like looked for the two wheel drive too. Maybe we'll yeah. do a video on like why we went with the two wheel instead of the Yeah, you get a couple other little like uh, yeah. We talked to a couple friends about it. Differences too. Yeah. So, all right, guys, let us know what you think about the new Lamborghini, and make sure to subscribe to the channel to see a lot more content with this beautiful car. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Bye.